Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of Pac-Man in real world videos in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So in this video I will not be going in detail like how we can model and animate Pac-Man using Blender. I have already made a tutorial regarding that you can click on that i card above or else you can find a link in the description for that tutorial. So in this video I will be directly showing you how we can use that animated Pac-Man into the live footage. So here we are in After Effects now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. So for that right click on this project panel import select the file or else you can directly drag and drop your footage onto this project panel. So here I got this footage from pexels.com so let me drag it onto this composition icon here so that it creates a composition with the footage properties. So here we can see there is no camera movement that means we got the footage which is steady. So if you want to avoid any tracking process get the footage which is steady or else if your footage has got some movements or shaky kind of thing first we need to track that footage. So if you want to know how to track the footage in Adobe After Effects you can click on the i card above or else you can check a link in the description. So here since my camera is steady i don't want to track the footage so directly i need to create a solid layer for element 3d so in order to apply element 3d first we need to create a solid layer so go to this layer options new create a solid let me rename this as element and make it of com size and hit ok so now come to this effects and presets panel if you're not finding this panel here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element so as we all know element is a third party plugin that can use it to import 3D objects into the After Effects. So select this element and drop it onto this element layer here. So now click on the scene setup button. So here we got a new window open to work in element 3D. So element 3D supports only OBJ or OBJ sequence. So if you want to know how to export animation into OBJ sequence from Blender, click on the i card above or else you can check a link in the description okay so now let's import our obj sequence here so go to this file option import so normally if you want to import any 3d object you can click on this import button but if you want to import 3d sequence or obj sequence we need to go to this file option new and select this 3d sequence so from here we can select this obj sequence so here i got the sequence here so select the first one and click on this open and alignment let it be from bottom because we want our model to be on the surface of this grid okay now leave all the defaults as it is and hit okay so here we got this pac-man so now let's click on this normalized size to get our actual size here so here we got this pac-man and it got the animation so if i increase this frame offset you can see it got the animation here so let me change this to zero so now let's apply some materials onto that so expand this one so select this material and come to this presets here i will be using this pro shaders to select this pro shaders to come to this metal so here i will select this metal copper and let me drop it onto this material one and now let me select this material too and for this i will add this metal black okay so now we got this material applied on this pac-man and for these eyes i will come to this physical and i will add this bright light so that it is visible clearly okay so once the materials are added if you want to increase the bumpness of select of these materials we can do that so select the material and increase this normal bump value okay so here you can see we got that bump so let me select this material also and let me increase the bump value here okay so now right click on this pac-man object come to this aux animation and set it to channel one so here we got this model in group one and we have set this pac-man model to aux animation channel one okay so now we need to change the environment here because if we see now if i click on this environment button we can see the environment but this is not our footage environment so in order to make this 3d objects blend into our scene we need to have the same hdra or same environment map so since i don't have that environment map which is 360 image i will be using a screenshot of the same footage so now let me select that one so click here so here you can see I have loaded the screenshot of the footage. So select it and open. Now we can find the reflections of our surroundings or footage onto this model which makes this model to blend in the scene. Okay. So now hit on this OK button. 
So here you can see we got our Pac-Man model. So now we need to animate this Pac-Man in the path of this direction. Okay. So since it is in group one, we will be working in group one. So expand this group one. This is in aux channel one. So come to this aux channels, channel one. Okay. So from here, let's reduce the scaling like 0.75 and let's rotate this one. Come to this rotation options and let me rotate this here like this. Okay. And let's position it here. So bring the Y direction and let the be Y position here. And if you want, we can reduce the scaling further. So I think this much is enough and position Z. Let's make it here and I think. Okay, so let it start from here. Okay, so be on the first frame and add a keyframe for this channel position XYZ and rotation also now come to the last frame and bring the position of this Z let me make it to zero or let's we need to bring it here and position Y let it be here and change the position of X here like this and still we need to so now if I play this so I think the Y position or X position is bit off so let me adjust this position X. So let it be here. So now if I play this, okay. So I think this is fine. So let me increase the scaling a bit. So let it be 0.75. Okay, nice. So now we need to add the shadows here. You can see this biker got the shadows. So, but the Pac-Man is missing the shadow. So we need to add shadows. So select this element, come to the scene setup once again, come to this create option and add a plane here. So let the scaling be 10,000. I will increase the scaling like 10,000. Okay. So we will get this plane added. So we need to convert this into matte shadow. So we can select this material, come to this physical materials and we can apply this matte shadow or else we can select the material, come to this advanced settings, scroll down and enable this matte shadow. So we'll get only shadows visible. And also we need to assign this one to aux channel one. So right click aux animation so let it be channel one so now hit ok so now we are not finding any difference so select this element once again scroll down come to this render settings come to this ambient occlusion and enable this ambient occlusion and intensity let me change this to 10 so now we can see we are getting those shadows here so i will change the samples to 16 okay so now we got our pac-man in real world footage ready so in order to make this bit interesting we can add optics so come to this layer option new create an adjustment layer so come to this effects and presets and look for optics so select this optics compensation and drop it onto this adjustment layer so basically it gives some optic illusion so like this so let me reverse this one and enable this field of view at the starting frame make it zero come to the last frame and change this field of view to 50 so now if i play this we'll have this kind of effect on the video okay and make sure to enable this motion blur so that we get some motion blur on this 3d object and later if you want to add camera moments here fake camera moments we can do that for that add adjustment layer once again Come to this effects and presets and look for wiggle. So select this wiggle position and drop it onto this above adjustment layer. So wiggle amount, I will reduce this to three and let me increase the scale to one out five. Okay. And uncheck this uniform scale option. Okay. So if I play this, you can see we got this fake camera moments also here. Okay. So in this way, we can make this Pac-Man in real life or real world videos easily in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.